Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm a careers advisor with Sheffield Futures and in this video I've got a few tips for you about telephone interviews. Because if you've been applying for jobs or apprenticeships or work-based learning recently, the chances are that any interviews you get will be over the phone because of the coronavirus, meaning so many companies are closed. Now, in a lot of ways, a telephone interview isn't that different to a face-to-face -face interview. You'll be asked much the same questions like, why do you want this job? What do you know about the company? What skills have you got? And in some ways, telephone interviews are easier because, for one thing, you haven't got to worry about finding the company, have you? Or getting lost or being late. All you've got to do is pick up the phone. So that's really good. That brings me to the first tip, though, which is find somewhere quiet to take that call. Now, I know at the moment that might not be very easy if all the family are at home together. So get your family roped in, particularly your parents or your carers. Explain to them what's happening and that it's really important that you're not disturbed. The other thing you could do is maybe ask for an interview slot at a quiet time of day. Maybe first thing in the morning, if everyone's a bit quiet and sleepy then, go for that slot then. But if it all goes wrong and when you get that call, it's really noisy. J just be upfront and just say to the interviewer, I'm so sorry about the noise. Everybody's at home right now. They will understand and the chances are they'll be in the same boat. OK, let's talk about how telephone interviews are a bit different. The main way is that there's nothing to see, is there? In other words, you can't see them and they can't see you. In some ways that's helpful, in some ways it's not. Let's talk about the helpful things first of all. Well, you haven't got to worry what to wear, have you? Which is really good. Though I would say, pick an outfit that's going to make you feel kind of confident and ready to go. So even though they can't see what you're wearing, think about something that will make you feel interview ready. The second thing you can do, which is really helpful, is... Have a few notes by the phone like this, just in case your mind goes blank, because it, it happens sometimes, doesn't it? And if it does, you can just have a quick read. They won't know. So that's really helpful. But what about ways in which it's not so helpful? The main way is that you can't pick up any, any kind of nods and smiles and all those signals that you often get from an interviewer and it works the other way around too they've only got your voice and you've only got their voice so it's really important to speak clearly and also to slow down because when you're when you're really nervous it's really you know tempting to start talking really fast like that isn't it we all do it so just slow down okay and also listen really really carefully because like we've said you've only got their voice to go on if you're not sure if you've heard a question properly or if you don't understand it, ask. You can just say, would you mind just saying that again? Or even, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean. Whatever you do, don't try and guess what they've said. It's worth smiling, you know, even though they can't see you. Because a smile just makes you feel kind of a bit more friendly and approachable, doesn't it? And that's probably the sort of thing that they're looking for. And don't worry if every now and again it goes a bit like that, quiet. It just means the interviewer is probably making a few notes. One last tip, practice. Because we're on our phones all day long, aren't we? But we don't have interviews over the phone very often. So get somebody, a friend, family member, to give you a ring and ask you a few questions over the phone. Because the more you practice, the better you're going to get at it. OK, that's the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful. Very best of luck in your telephone interviews and see you again soon.